y el, sí. habíamos coordinado en esto, pues que íbamos a trabajar los fines de semana. Yo por eso les escribí. Fuera lo genial, pero creo que ellos lo toman así individual, de que como, como tú decías, pues de que nosotros preguntemos y, y gestionemos eso, porque en los módulos anteriores, cuando yo o sea, me atrasaba por lo mismo de, de mi trabajo, híjole, mensajes, mensajes de que iba iba atrasada y todo, pues, y la verdad que a veces cuando uno quiere hacer más tiempo es cuando más situaciones se nos presentan, pues, ya sea que te quedas más tarde hasta el eh, siempre cosas de trabajo, alguna diligencia familiar o, o X, Y, Z, pues, pero sí eh, esperamos de que, que haya un poco de comprensión por, por parte de ellos que el factor complicadito para nosotros, el momento que hemos de elegido. Hecho, Ahora. De hecho, Heidi, yo pienso que si todos nos ponemos de acuerdo, creo yo que si no van, tendrían que acceder, porque no sé si la mayoría dice que tiene problemas con la semana para poder tener la plataforma. Obviamente, porque a mí me contestaron, me dijo que sí que no había problemas, que hasta el domingo me daban tanto para poder llegar a mi plataforma. Y lo podemos hacer en el, en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, podemos hacerlo. Todo igual, decirle a la chica. Que nos ayude, pues, porque obviamente todos trabajamos mucho. Pues. Estaba ¿Sí? revisando que uh -huh. dentro de los contactos hay eh, varias personas involucradas. How can I help you? Do you have a problem? Platform. Yeah. The platform. Sí, teacher. Ajá. Creo que todos, todos eh, coordinamos en la misma situación. A todos, la mayoría nos llegó un mensaje donde nos decían de que teníamos que tener la plataforma trabajada el jueves, la parte, bueno, la sección 1 y 2, se nos hace bastante complicado porque la mayoría trabajamos y obviamente hemos tomado las, las clases en la noche porque uh -huh. es el tiempo, digamos, un poco más libre que tenemos para poder trabajar. Yo les estaba explicando a mis compañeros que yo les escribí, yo soy muy sincera, o sea, yo el fin de semana a de, me dedico a, a tiempo completo a la plataforma, pero en la semana es mentira. Y veo que también mis compañeros tienen ese problema. Entonces les estaba diciendo pues, de que si le exteriorizamos esas cosas a usted, tal vez usted nos puede ayudar a que pues, sean un poco comprensibles. En ese ok, Vanessa, sí, comprendo de que pues trabajan y pasan ocupados y que les cuesta verdad avanzar en la plataforma. Déjenme platicar con mi coordinador y veo si yo les puedo ayudar en, en algo, ¿ok? Y cualquier cosa, pues si no pueden también escribirlo ahí a, en el grupo, ¿verdad? Si desean, no sé medio ahí que querían hacer eso, lo pueden también hacer. Ajá, pero voy a hablar, voy a hablar ahí con, con ellos para ver qué, qué podemos hacer para ayudarles. Okay. And sorry about the inconvenience, I, I lost the connection, I lost the connection and I, I use my, my phone. If you cannot hear me, let me know. Estoy con mi teléfono, así que si, si mi señal baja, me avisan. Y I will turn off the, the camera. Okay, okay so let's, let's continue, guys. I have the, the conversation. I'm going to start again. And I'm going to mute you just for the background noise, okay? Just because of that. Okay, so it says, Hi, Eric, did you buy the spare part for the washing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product, of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great, did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, so that's the conversation. Now we will listen to Marlon and Roberto. Marlon, you are Hank and Robert, Eric. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for? the washing machine yes i did robert the price was 
78. Oh, I need the evalu evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it down downtown? Yes, I went to get I be myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay, thank you, Marlon and Robert. Good pronunciation. Just the one you see here. That will be customer service. That will be the, the correct pronunciation. Can you repeat, please? Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. Thank you. Now let's continue with Vanessa Rivera. We will listen to Vanessa Rivera and Heidi Diaz. Vane, you are Hank. Heidi, Eric. Okay, teacher. Yo empiezo. Hi. Hi, perdón su nombre. Hey, oh, or hey. Eric. Hi, hi, Eric. Did you bought the spare part for the washing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was seven A. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Wait, did you order it online? Or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Heidi and Vane, good pronunciation. Just the price, 78. That's the, the right way, 78. Heidi, can you repeat? Uh -huh. Seven, 78. Uh -huh. There are two options, 78 or 70, 78. Two options. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then we will listen to Wendy, Wendy and Lisette. One last time. Wendy, you are Hank and Lisette, Eric. Okay. Okay. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the machine, the washing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was. 78. Okay, I need the evaluation the product. Of the new product. Thanks, right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get, get it by myself downtown. How how was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Okay. Thank you. Mama. Thank you for the reading. Good pronunciation too. Thank uh, you. Guys, do you need help with vocabulary, new words? Downtown, le iba a preguntar. Downtown. Lo puso. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> Central part of the city. And the okay. other one, replacement, I'm sorry, spare part is like an additional part. The, the one you have is, is damaged, doesn't work anymore. So you need a replacement, un reemplazo, a replacement. That's spare, spare part. We have questions, some questions about the reading. Question number one. Let's listen to 
Kelia, uh, what did Eric need to buy? What did Eric need to buy? What did Eric need to buy, Kelia? Eric need the spare part for the washing machine. So Eric needed to buy needed. the spare part, part for the washing uh, machine. For the washing machine. Excellent, Kelia. That's the answer. Now question number two. Let's listen to Vane Ramirez. Okay, Vane. Question number two. What was the price of the product? Okay. In 78 dollar. Uh -huh. Correct. You can say it was 78. That's one option, 78. Option two, it cost 78 dollars. Okay. Thank you. Now let's continue with last question. Number three, let's continue with Angelica. How was the customer service at the store, Angelica? How was the customer service? The, the customer service, it was nice as usual. Mm -hmm. Was nice as usual, correct. Thank you. Now I'm going to give you some grammar points about how to use simple past and then we will practice, okay? We will practice. Simple past. First, we will talk about the use. Primero vamos a hablar del uso. We will talk about the use. So, Ana, when do you think we have to use simple past? In your personal opinion, when do you use simple past? Uh, we use simple past uh, when it's an action in the, in the past. For example, yes. I did something yesterday, maybe. Uh, thank you, Anna. So we use it to talk about past activities. Okay, this is one way to say it, to talk about past activities or activities that are completely over, over or finished. That is when you have to use past tense, okay? Algo que está completamente en el pasado. It's completely in the past, not connected to the present. No tiene nada que ver con el presente. Okay, and we have a structure. We have a formula. There is a formula. Subject, you have to use the verb in past tense past form of the verb, and then we need complement, okay? Those are the three elements or three parts, subject, verb, and complement. For example, I went, that's the verb go in past tense, I went to the clinic, the clinic, in the morning, okay? Past tense, it's over. Let's listen to Eric. Eric, one activity you did in the morning, please. And remember the formula, Eric. Vamos a seguir cada elemento, each element. One activity you did in the morning. Um, I went huh? to, to the... Howard. Uh, did I did the homework? I did. Okay, I did homework. Thank you, Eric. Let's Teacher. listen to. Aha, uh -huh. Robert. In the morning, puede ser. 
I went to brush my teeth. Maybe just I brush. I brush my I teeth. Brush. Mm -hmm. When Maybe. is not necessary, it's not essential. Uh, yes. Okay, brush. thank you, Eric and, and Robert. Now let's listen to Mario. Mario, one activity you did on the weekend, only one. I played uh, basketball on the weekend. Okay, thank you. You play, I play basketball. I play basketball on the weekend, um, right? Or well, sería on weekends, on weekends. But mm, no, if you say on, the weekend. on weekends, it's like a routine. So we need present tense. But to be specific, we need past tense. Uh, hello, do you hear me? Sí, letra. Ah, okay. I'm going to turn off my camera. Voy a apagarle que estoy teniendo aquí problemas técnicos. <laughs> okay, okay, let me see. Voy a ver. Okay, si no me escuchan, por favor me, me avisan. Okay. But yes, on the weekend, on the weekend, Mario. Okay. Okay, thank you. So this is for uh, affirmative sentences. Negative sentences, they are different. Negative uh, sentences. The negative sentence, you can use two options. Did not, to make it negative, or the contraction, didn't. That is option number two. For example, I did not and don't change the verb no vamos a cambiar el verb okay don't change the verb i didn't go to the store yesterday okay yesterday i'm going to put it here don't change a verb, okay? No lo cambiemos. Leave it in the present. Hazel, tell me something you didn't do in the morning. Okay. I didn't not go room. Go to room. Correct. I did not. Well, Hazel didn't go Running, vamos a poner running, con, con go utilizamos ing, usually. Okay, I didn't, she didn't go running. Thank you, Hazel. Now let's continue with Tati. One activity you didn't do last week. Are you there, Tati? Tati? I didn't. Uh-huh. I didn't, didn't study. I didn't study last week. Wait. Okay, thank you. So remember that point. We are not going to change the, the verb, okay? Questions in this moment? Do you have a question for me, guys? About negative sentences? Mario? No. You don't. Anna? I have a question to share. Yes. Uh, why uh, do you use um, Hassel? Didn't go to running, ING. Uh, the running. Uh -huh. There is a rule. There is a rule that says that when you talk about recreational activities and you use go, you have to put the verb with ing. Hay una regla que dice que cuando hablamos de actividades recreacionales, si utilizamos el verbo go, hay que usar el segundo verbo con ing. 
like go shopping. We say go shopping, go dancing, go. In past tense would be went, right? You can change the verb go. Went, mm, but camping, recreational activities. That is, that is why, Anna. Okay, uh, this is when used to, to bear, for example, go to go running. Uh -huh. It's not yes. go to run. Okay. Yes, when you have two verbs. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so you said that you don't have questions, right? Can you make two sentences, please? One in the affirmative form and two in the negative form, please. And send it by chat, okay? Send them by chat so we can see it. I'm going to give you one, one moment. You have to create two sentences, Robert. Two sentences. One in the affirmative form and one negative. Do you hear me, Robert? Yes, yes, teacher. Um, Uh, Amanda, thank you for the sentence. Just remember, no change. Recuerden no cambiar en, en la forma negativa el verbo. I didn't drive to my office yesterday. Okay, correct, Heidi. Wendy, I prepare my breakfast. I didn't go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amanda, you change it. Hazel, I did my homework. I didn't eat my lunch. No lunch today, Hazel. <laughs> okay, next one. I went to the gym, I didn't eat fruit, I didn't drive to work or to my work, thank you. Angelica, can you read your sentences, please? I did my homework, mm -hmm. I didn't dance last week, I yes. didn't play video games yesterday. Perfect, thank you, Angelica. Ana, can you continue? Just Ana, no verbi, no vamos, a usar, no vamos a usar el was. I read. So, can you read the sentences, Ana? Hola. Yes, can you read the sentence? Okay. A new sentence or the, the sentence? In the chat, uh-huh. I read. Uh-huh, uh oh, sorry. Oh, me la encuentro. <laughs> okay, I have one. I read my book, right? I read my book. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. I, I was to read my book yesterday in the night. Mm -hmm. Okay, en esa, Ana, vamos a eliminarle el was. Y solo okay. el verbo. Okay. I read. Subject, verb. verb. I read okay. my book I yesterday. Read my book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you, Anna. 
Robert, correct. I didn't play soccer. Mario, aha. Uh -huh. Both sentences are correct, Mario. Vanessa Carranza, yes. Good sentences. Thank you, Yolanda, correct. Then, Vane Ramirez, the sentences are correct. Robert, okay. Great, okay. Now, we will continue with questions, okay? Questions with simple past. Questions. And then we will practice. For questions, we have this, this formula, okay? You have to use, if necessary, a WH question. For example, what, when, why, okay? Different options. That is the first part, WH question. And then, you have to mention did, subject, verb in the base form, no change, and complement. That is the structure that we, we need. For example, um, the first thing, just no question, did. Okay. Did doesn't have a meaning. Did no tiene un significado. Es solo como un identificador de, de tiempo. Okay. Si yo digo did, people know I'm talking about past tense. Cuando ellos oyen did, ellos saben que ustedes están hablando de past tense. Solo lo vamos a poner para indicar que es past tense. Y luego, una oración normal. You play soccer yesterday, ¿ok? ¿Qué es lo único que hice? Poner el identificador, ¿ok? Y luego ahí hay una normal sentence. I didn't change the verb, ¿ok? No change. Did you play soccer yesterday? Mm, it could be yes. I did. Short answer. No. I didn't, short answer, okay? Long answer, yes, I played soccer. We changed the verb. The only moment we change the verb is in affirmative sentences. El único momento en el que utilizamos el verbo en past tense es en oraciones afirmativas. Negative statements, questions, no change. Ahí no. Okay. Again, first, you mentioned did. Primero ponemos el did para que las personas sepan que es past tense. And then we use the subject. ¿Quién es el subject? Let's say Ana. Okay, I mentioned the name. Did Ana, and now the activity. Did Anna work today? Okay. And then the answer, Anna, did you work? Yes, I did. Okay, so we can say yes. In this case, she did, right? That is one option. Just no questions. Esas son las de sí o no. Just no questions. But remember, if you wish, you can add WH questions, information questions. Si ya desean extraer algún tipo de información, utilicen el WH question apropiado. Si yo quiero saber cuándo, ok, when in that case. And then past tense, when did, and then we mention the name, when did, when did, when did Wendy go to Guatemala? When did Wendy go to Guatemala? What can you tell us, Wendy? Mm, I went to the Guatemala last two years ago. Ah, okay. So we can say she went 
to Guatemala two years ago. Oops. Okay. You extract, you extract the info. Okay. And we change the verb. Comments right now. Is there something you would like to know or ask? No sé si quieren preguntar algo in this moment. No, not right now. Okay, I know it's a lot of information. Tomorrow we continue practicing, okay? Because I know there are many things to say. Last point, okay? Last point, exceptions. Exceptions to the rule, okay? Hay algunas preguntas que se hacen distinto, okay? Por ejemplo, cuando utilizan who, questions with who. Las que van con who, como no sabemos quién es el sujeto, o se supone que no sabemos, entonces vamos a utilizar solo el verbo. Who, who worked today? Who worked today? No subject. De ahí no vamos a poner subject y tampoco vamos a poner el verbo en base form. We use it in past tense. Who worked today? Answer, everybody. Everybody worked today. It's an example. Okay, that is one exception to the rule. And number two, how many? How many and how much? How many and how much? After you mention how many and how much, no sé si se recuerdan que está en, el, en la plataforma, how many, how much? Eso es para saber cuántos. Luego tienen que colocar el noun del que hablen. For example, how many people? Okay, van a colocar la cosa de la que hablen. How many people did you see yesterday. Okay, how many people did you see yesterday? Así que ese es el único cambio que vamos a agregar la cosa de la que hablamos. How many cars, how many houses, and you mentioned the object, okay? Those are the only exceptions. Okay, can you make a question, please? Can you send a question? A WH question in the chat, just to practice. Una pregunta que lleve un WH question in past tense. I'm going to, to check the way you do it. I'm going to give you a moment. I don't know if you want to ask a question again. No sé si quieren hacer alguna pregunta. No. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to wait a moment. Okay, and then, thank you, Tati. Uh -huh, it's, it's correct. Amanda, yes. Correct. Angelica, thank you. What did you do last weekend? Thank you, Mario. That's correct too. Do you have your question, Wendy? Are you ready? What did you do yesterday? Okay. Thank you, Anna.
Where did you go last week? Okay, all right. I have one, I have one activity to practice a little bit more before we go. I, I send it to you by, by chat too. And we will try to do it here before we go. Lisette, who did, did he go? Uh-huh, Lisette, that one is okay. What did Lorena prepare for lunch yesterday? Thank you. Why, uh, Vanessa, it will be why did, con why, Vanessa Carranza, si hay que poner el, el subject. Why did you, why did her go to the market? That would be the, the correct way to say it. Okay. And then Vanessa Ramirez, correct. Yolanda, thank you. Heidi, mm -hmm. Wendy, okay, I see the sentence. Okay, guys, thank you. I'm going to share with you the last activity and we will do it together. If you need it, it's in the chat, okay? Se las envié también ahí al chat para que la puedan ver, if you wish. And we will try to do it together. You have to choose the correct option, okay? Choose the correct option. We will choose and write the sentence and we will answer questions. Because of the time, we will work in the last two parts. Por el tiempo vamos a trabajar en las últimas dos. Okay, and we will ask Yolanda to start. Okay, Yolanda, part number two. Choose and write. You have a list of verbs and you have to elaborate the question, Yolanda. Question number one. Are you ready or do you need time? Oh, okay. Uh, if you want to, I can I can give you a moment, Yolanda. It or... is a question, but yes, it's a question. And, uh -huh. and did, did Vicky play football? Did Vicky play uh -huh, football at the school? The answer, Yolanda, no. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Okay, thank you, Yolanda. Um, I have one person that says Acer PC. ¿Cuál es su nombre? What's your name? Solo me sale su computadora. No. <laughs> okay, so let's continue with, with Hazel. Hazel, can you help us with number two, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did they cook lunch yesterday? Thank you. Uh -huh. And the answer? Yes, they did. They did in this case. Okay, thank you, Hazel, that's the one. Now let's continue with Marlon. What do you think about number three, Marlon? Um, did you... On the phone um, yesterday. Did you... Talk uh -huh. on, on the phone yesterday. Great. No. 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 You didn't. No, you didn't. Uh -huh. Thank you. Good job, Marlon. Robert, can you continue? Can you help us with number four? Okay. Did Jack clean up his bedroom this afternoon? 
did Jack clean up mm -hmm. his bathroom this afternoon? And the answer, yes. Uh, yes, he, he didn't. He did. He did because it's yes, a fair money. Mm -hmm. so it's Thank you, Robert. Lisa? I have a question, teacher. Yes. And what uh, is your question? The answer is correct. The option three is correct. Did you talk on the phone? Ah, uh, no, no, sorry. I didn't. That will be the best option, he said. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Because okay. it's like, did you? No, I didn't. Correct. Thank you. Lisette, can you help us with number five, please? Did, did Julie read? Did Julie read for an instrument? Mm -hmm. Yes. She, she did. Yes, thank you, Lisa. Okay, now let's continue with Kelia, number six, Kelia. Did your aunt and uncle mm -hmm. work, work to the radio yesterday evening? Worked to the radio. Mm -hmm. uh, listen. You know, this, this one, uh -huh, we have to make a change. This one, uh, Liz, Lizbeth, Lizette, I'm sorry, I just changed your name. Did Julie work for a newspaper? That would be the right option here. And then which one did you use? Kenya? Did your aunt and uncle Listen to the radio yesterday evening. Listen, uh huh. Listen to the radio. Thank you. Okay. No, they Wait. didn't. Uh huh. No, they didn't. Okay. Questions or, or comments in this moment? Uh, I have a question, teacher. Yes. All the time we. Uh, we need to use this. What do you mean, Robert? In questions, in the answer? In, in the uh, question? In the questions? No, not all the time. There are some exceptions. Hay algunas okay. preguntas que son diferentes, like the one here. Who? Ah, Who no lleva el dit? Just is the um, which, how many, and how much lo podrían no tener. I can explain if you want to a little bit more tomorrow at the beginning of the class. Hay como unas exceptions y ahí sí se las quitamos. Quitamos el, okay. el did. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay, <clears throat> you're welcome. Now I'm going to ask you the questions that we have here. Voy a hacerlas a ustedes y ustedes pueden contestar a su propia manera. Let's begin with Guillermo. Did you listen to the radio yesterday, Guillermo? No, yet. No, you didn't. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. Vane Rivera, did you listen to the radio yesterday? Yes, yes, you did. Okay, thank you. Anna, can you ask question number two, please, to Marlon? Okay. Did, did you play in the park last week? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Thank you, Marlon and Anna. Let's continue with Tati. Tati, number three. Ask question number three to Mario, please. Mario, 
did you clean a tree yesterday? No, I didn't. Okay, thank you. And this one is climb. That's the, the correct yeah. way to say it. Uh huh, climb. Okay, thank you guys. Okay. Now let's continue with Heidi. Heidi, question number four. And let's ask Hazel, please. Hey, so did you study English last week? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Okay, good pronunciation. Thank you. Well, guys, I think that we will stop the class now because there's another class coming. I'm sorry about the, the internet problems. And I'm going to talk about uh, your problem with my coordinator, okay? To see if I can get something for you. Okay, yo voy a ver eso mañana también. Do you have any questions before we finish the, the class? No. Okay, no, guys. No, so, see you tomorrow. No Sweet okay. dreams. See to you all tomorrow. Of you. Good night. 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 Good night